Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 28. And you can see, yeah, I can get all the way from 88 to 200 entropy. Which I think is kind of ridiculous. Like, this 1235 is going to go all the way to 3000. But I think the more OP thing is that, you know, I can get these upgrades. I think I want to get the most expensive one first, because, um... Yeah, it'll just take less time to get to these than these. So this means the active, actually useless theories achievement reward uses a better formula, which I think I have no idea what that even does. Um, I really have, I I, I forgot. Oh yeah, it's it's this. It's the multiply the generation of all of the foam types. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I'm, I can get theoretical particles make. Omega particles require less entropy. This means I have nine omega particles instead of seven. And then hyperpathogen upgrade scaling starts later based on your omega particles. So that's essentially where I will be here. And well, I think well I can already do this. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't really check my boosts right beforehand, but I can get E47 elementary particles, which I think is way more than, yeah, if I, if I can just do this and just put half into each, I can get a whole bunch of these upgrades. Um, I don't know how, yeah, there's just a ton here. I can get these upgrades as well, even though they barely do anything for me. I'm still going to get them. And, yeah, just get, get all of these. Get all of these, and then is there anything? I don't know. There's no Higgs upgrades I can get. I can go to. I can go back to this. I can, you know, try to get more of these upgrades, just, just as many as I as I possibly can, because this this will all definitely help at least a little bit. I mean, it may not be all that powerful, but it it'll do something. And then of course I'll get these. I could do this, and I probably could get a couple more of these upgrades, but I don't think it matters much. Um, I can I can go to Prions and gain a bunch of theoretical boosters. It doesn't really help anything at this point. I think, yeah, I can get 22 Entropy, so I'm close to 215. Actually, doing that, I don't... Actually, it might have been the best idea, because I went from 9 to 10 on Mega Particles. So now I'm adding exactly one level to all of my foam boosts. So I think what I want to go for next is Omega Particles are stronger based on your Hadrons. That's probably the best thing to go for. I'm not exactly... Okay, so I need 100 E157, actually more like E158 Quantum Foam to get to the next um, entropy point at all. And you can see I'm at E153 and E154, so it doesn't look like it's going to even take all that much time. Like, I'm, maybe there's, like, let's see um, if there's any good boosts that are coming up. I'm, I'm Subplank boost is coming up, and that multiplies Subplank foam. So hopefully, oh, there, there's that. So that hopefully should speed things up a little bit. Um, I don't, I don't see, is there anything else... Um, pathogen. Meta boost 3 is kind of far away at this point, but you can see I'm up to E157 quantum foam, so I don't think it even matters all that much. Um, I could try to enter the Theoryverse just to see if it's at all possible. I'll just, I'll just keep grabbing these upgrades as I wait for everything. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna try entering the Theoryverse. Boom, I can actually get more theory points out of it. Can I do it again? No. Okay, I I, I don't think I was going to be able to do that a second time. I can get this, though, which maybe now I can do it. Um, still no. Okay, that, that's fine. I really don't need everything. So I'm back up to E158 Quantum Foam. It seems like I'm getting around 2 entropy per order of magnitude of Quantum Foam. That's what it looks like I am getting. So this means I need E161, I think. Yeah. Things have slowed down significantly here. I don't know how this went down from 
like E157 per second, E156, but I guess that's what I just have to deal with. I don't, there doesn't seem like there's many boosts that are easily available. Maybe there's a couple of upgrades I can grab here because it's, you know, there's this one and, and then there's these, but that doesn't really do much. I don't, I don't think, what I will do while I wait is um, go back to here, export, um, reset, import, and just get this. And this is just, yeah, it allows me to get like one more level. It doesn't really actually do, oh, I'm back up to E158 per second. I'm guessing it's because I got this pathogen boost down here. And like the ones down here are the most powerful ones. That's my guess. So now I'm up to five entropy. I'm so close to to this to getting all the way to the last one. I'm not exactly sure how wise it is to just get this and then go all the way down to zero entropy. I think it's fine. I will be sure to like export while I wait. Maybe there's something in automation I can do. Um, can I help enter on this? Okay, yes I can. Oh, maybe I can't. I, I think, actually it's buying these automatically. I, I keep forgetting I, I don't even have to monitor these at all. Okay, so I'm now up to 8 entropy, so of course just export this, do this, get that upgrade, and hopefully, okay, good. As long as it's easy to get some entropy, I am happy because this allows me to, yeah, you can see now with this much Omega Particles, it's going to be super easy to get a bunch of entropy. And it looks like actually I can decipher the formula of this entropy because 216 to 3600, that seems like some kind of X to the two thirds times 100 or something. That's, yeah, that's what it is. I actually deciphered a relatively complicated formula there. And also, I need 19 more entropy if I want to get this last upgrade. I'm already up to 13, so I don't think it's going to be any trouble. And if I can get this last meta boost, that would be great. But unfortunately, that's E29 there, so that's not really possible. I mean, like this comes beforehand. But I don't even think I really need to do that because I'm already up to 16, 17. Yeah, I really do not think I... I think all I need to do is wait maybe a minute and then I can get this last upgrade. And maybe that will allow me to unlock the next mechanic soon. It's called um, Skyrimion. I'm still, I still don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just going to call them Skyrimions. Skyrimions. That's, okay, that's probably how you pronounce it. Skyrimions. Anyway, get this last upgrade. Um, boost, yeah. This just means I'm going to be able to get more entropy. So... Yeah, 400 entropy already, and I'm not even sure what I'm trying to even go for at this point. Like, seriously, I, I don't know. I think this is good. Yeah, I think what I'm just going to do is maybe an, I, well, if I, I'm not exactly sure where I, I, okay, I already have the universes. I just need the quarks and the leptons. So that means I do need elementary particles. I swear I have already got rid of this confirmation, but it keeps coming back. But yeah, that's probably some sort of a bug. Um, so I just I'm gonna get all these upgrades. These theory point ones really don't do much anymore. These need to be automated. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's let's see. We're already up to we're up to E28, which means that if I can get this, I think that gives me a decent jump in progression. You can see I'm now back up to 80, I'm, I'm now up to 89% there. So I think, I think I just want to, I'm actually going to try quick elementaries. Okay, I really need to get rid of this confirmation. Anyway, I, I think, yeah, I've gotten this and now everything is even faster. I could get more entropy. It doesn't really seem like it's that good. I mean, I could try doing that, yeah, I'm just, but I'm, I'm just going to go for the elementary particles because I want to unlock Skymrions as soon as possible. 
I, th I think at this point it is worth it just to get one more entropy reset going, and hopefully this will make things a little bit better. Again, I'm going to do 50-50, get these, and I could even do a hadronic challenge just to see. I'm going to... Oops, I want I want to see how far I can I can get with this. So let's let's see. I can get twenty six point nine. Okay, so that means I want to do two six nine, and this should this should give me a higher hadronic score, even though it's not really that much higher. And then of course I of course while I wait I can do this. Get all of these as high as I possibly can get them. I could even I'm guessing there's even yeah, more theoretical boosters to get. But yeah, I guess I yeah, I need to wait for this, unfortunately, again. I'm really close. You can actually see it in action here. So this will reset everything, but everything is gonna be considerably faster. I'm gonna try the theory verse again. Uh, nope. I can get up to 30%, but I can't make it all the way. I'm just going to keep um, grinding elementaries. It seems like I just want to try to grind elementary particles um, just so I can um, get as many quarks and leptons as I possibly can. So it's, if it's quarks and leptons, actually, I want to transform it all into fermions. No bosons. So... Yeah, you can see I'm up to like only 14 orders of magnitude away from unlocking Skymreon. So I think Skymreons are going to be a mechanic for next episode. Actually, you can see I'm al already getting really close. Like E568, up to 98%, and yeah, I'm up to Novel Boy percentage. Or a few e percentage. If you play GD, you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, ninety, not quite ninety nine percent. There's ninety nine percent. So I think I just want to do a couple more resets um, until I can finally reach enough quarks. It, this is weird though. This is sublinear. The growth of quarks and leptons is sublinear. That makes no sense to me, but whatever. It looks like we have unlocked Skymreon, so hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.